Hey out there to all my BFFs, this is Steve Miller, better known as Kelly's Dad and Marketing Gunslinger. Thanks for joining me again this week to talk about being uncopyable. Last week I talked about how technology, um, you know, we're all guilty of trying to take advantage of technology's advancements and the uh, uh, abilities that it gives us to communicate with our marketplace, uh, to go out and find new prospects, to go find new customers and to communicate with the people that we already have relationships with. Uh, but the danger being that if we continue to use things that are that, that we look at as being extremely easy and efficient and maybe even cost effective to use, uh, are we falling into the trap of becoming imper impersonal with our with our customers to where we're not having a really good, close uh, uh, personal relationship with them. And of course, that uh, for the most part, that in today's world is almost always the difference between us and our competition. Um, now, yes, in my book, Uncopyable, How to Create an Unfair Advantage Over Your Competition, I talk about other ways to separate yourself from the crowd. But if you don't have that personal connection with them, well, you know what? None of that stuff is going to help you anyway. Now, it's interesting because since that time, I mean, it wasn't my highest, it wasn't like the Sears video where I get, I've got, I've got like 31,000 views or something like that. Uh, but I've had some passionate responses to this that people are kind of saying, yeah, Steve, thanks for bringing this up. Uh, we need to be very, very careful about this. Now, and, and I want to point a couple of things out. Uh, um, like, like, for example, I got, I get, uh, an email from Mary Chisholm, who is the vice president of operations and marketing for a company called Micro Ridge in Sun River, Oregon, one of my favorite places on the planet. And uh, Mary's been a BFF for a long time. She sent me a link to a an event called Pega World that is that is run by a company called Pega. And uh, um, and just to talk about Pega, basically says that they are uh, they're, they're like the they're like a step above Salesforce in the way that they use technology to begin to go out and find relationships, to begin relationships, to maintain relationships, to bring relationships back and things like that. But here's, here's the thing. They are talking about AI. They're talking about using artificial intelligence in a much, much deeper way than what we've used in the past. And it's almost like, like, like here, I'm going to show you a picture, a screenshot of their homepage where, you know, look, look right here on the homepage. There are two things, there are two things that they say here that you get, you got to ask, your, you kind of kind of scratch your head a little bit. Like, first of all, we're able to predict that you're going to call before you need to actually contact us. Now, how is that going to happen? I don't know. I don't know how that's going to happen. But if you are a person who is hearing that, now PayPal is the one who they're quoting is saying that. Uh, but if you're a customer of PayPal and you're saying you're saying, wait a minute, you you knew in advance that you were gonna that I was gonna call you. How's that? I mean, and, and see, and that that tags us right into that other thing that's over there on the right side of the page, and it says personalized, not creepy. Well, that's my question. And I'd like to I'd like to have a dialogue with you about that. See, I'm not in here to, to necessarily say much more than what I talked about last week, but see, they were talking about really taking AI to a much higher level, much, much higher level, where uh, you know, almost to, almost to the point where as the customer is contacting the company, they're talking to, you know, a computer, a robot, I started to do that, did the quotes thing for the robot. They're talking to a computer, um, but they don't know it. They kind of essentially think they're talking to a person. Now, what does this do to the relationship? And as Mary points out, uh, in, in the email that I asked her, I, I asked her, her how she felt about this with Pega, Pega World and with this company Pega, who is pushing this AI. Um, she, uh, you know, first thing she said was good to know that we're all concerned. <laughs> we are all concerned with the same issues. Um, I don't know how AI will be used, but I am watching. I don't think anyone knows exactly, although it appears larger companies on the forefront, how it will be used by smaller B2B companies like ours remains to be seen. I am constantly looking for ways to improve customer personalization. Um, and, you know, and that's an interesting comment because or uh, phrase, turn to the phrase, because uh, customer personalization, if the customer personalization is being done by a computer, isn't that uh, 
personal personalization? I mean, isn't that what that is? Uh, you know, should we should we be worried about that? Um, she also she also makes a comment and, and she says our engineers, the types that they sell to, our engineer types like to do their own research and don't raise their hand necessarily. Uh, well, Mary, uh, first of all, you're not alone. That's pretty much the way it is everywhere, right? Is that in fact uh, it's been uh, bandied about, and I, I would not doubt this one bit that the average customer uh, in the B two B world will be will be literally sixty seven percent on the road towards making a decision before they contact any company to talk to them. So it's true everywhere. It's true everywhere. It's not just engineers. It's true everywhere. Think about if you go out to buy a car, how much research you do yourself before you go buy a car or anything for that matter, that you go online and you research in advance before you start to make a decision or start to decide where, you, where you're going to shop for. I also got uh, uh, I also got a uh, contact uh, by uh, an, another guy, uh, another one of my BFFs, uh, Mark. Uh, whoops, where did I go? What did I do with him? Let me find him again. Here we go. Come on. Where are you, Mark? Got to find you. Um, oh, here he is. Sorry. Uh, but Mike, Mark uh, Osterstock, who uh, is with QMark Manufacturing, I did a little work for them la last year. and. And uh, and he sent me uh, an email basically, and he said he said your latest uncopyable video post really hit home with me. I urge our inside salespeople to call our customers at every opportunity, especially when there's a question about a purchase order, delivery snafu, or any other chance for interaction with a fellow human being. Customers love it, and we often learn things about the customer that we could not have otherwise. He makes an interesting comment here because, you know, I referred to technology as being like a hammer. And he said instead, he said, I'd suggest that technology is used more like a shield than a hammer. People tend to hide behind emails and faxes. Faxes, well, I guess we're, I don't think we're hiding behind that too much anymore, but definitely we're hiding behind email and possibly, you know, me maybe messenger uh, nowadays. Uh, but we're figuring that if an electronic connection is completed, then their business responsibility is two. Uh, you know, so the connection with the customer, when we use technology to hide from the customer, to minimize the, the contact with them, uh, isn't that a problem? Now, one of the things that I, I will say, uh, and this is on the heels of the fact that, uh, you know, it was just announced a couple days ago that Amazon uh, is buying Whole Foods, who, you know, I've talked about them and their situation right now as well. But what, is this, what does this mean? See, Amazon is an online company, but they have very, very broad ideas about going to the customer. Uh, you know, they, they already have bookstores. You know, now here's a company who built themselves up being an online bookstore who is now, now has brick and mortar bookstores. They, uh, have been experimenting or they've been working on a, a grocery store in Seattle called Amazon Go. It's not open to the public yet, but I'm anxious to go try it out. Where when you go into the store and you go shopping, you are you scan your 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 name or something like that. You, you know you enter. You, it's like you log in when you go onto Amazon. You basically log in, take take the shopping cart, go around, do your shopping, and then you just walk out the front door. You don't even go to a cashier or anything like that. And of course, they're also experimenting with uh, delivery, Amazon Fresh, and delivering uh, food straight straight to home. Now buying. Whole Foods gives them a a new additional distribution network of over 400 stars, uh, stores across the United States uh, to help them do that. But the question again is, how is this going to impact customer relations? How is this going to impact how we talk with people? So I want to hear from you. I want to hear, you know, please, please come on. Talk to me about, I mean, you know, send me an email or, or a comment here, re reply here and share it with your friends and ask them. Technology is great, but are we going to allow technology and are you and your company going to allow technology to get in between and maybe even uh, create a negative situation for you and your customer base? What do you think is going to happen? I want to hear it all. I want to hear both sides, you know, the, the, the side for AI. Uh, and the side maybe not for AI. So let me know, please. All right, let's get let's let's get a conversation going. And uh, uh, at, at least if we have have a dialogue going, uh, we we know that it'll be up front and in, in our on our minds. I think that's really important. So join me, join me, <laughs> please join me. 
So anyway, this is Steve Miller, better known as Kelly's dad, marketing gunslinger. Appreciate you joining me again. I'll be back again next week with another uncopyable opinion piece. And uh, until then, always remember, be uncopyable.